I hope you are ready to describe some stuff because that is exactly what we are going to do today. This article about the best tech gifts. So you're going to get some great tech vocabulary, but we're really going to emphasize some of this great descriptive vocabulary, how to talk about and describe things. Thank you so much to the patrons who support this channel, make these videos possible, and allow them to be free on YouTube. Once you become a patron, you will be getting this video to go more in depth about the article and some more strategies for describing and talking about things in English. Other than that, you know that you gotta click the three dots down there. Click the three dots so you can read with me. The article today comes from CNBC. Here are the best tech gifts for people who travel all the time by Todd Hasselton. We're gonna skip the intro and go right to the description of some of these tech gadgets. So here we go. Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Series 2. I included the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Series 2 noise canceling headphones in my best gadgets guide of the year, but I have to include them here as well. I bought the original set and love the updated model, which includes a button with a dedicated Google Assistant. You still get the comfortable headphones and carrying case, an optional 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cord, support for Bluetooth connectivity, and more, but also the option to ask Google whatever you want so long as your phone is connected. They're steep in price, but beloved by frequent travelers, including me. You know we got some great vocabulary here, so let's review. Becoming much more popular, noise canceling whatever means it cancels noise. A gadget is a tech device, almost always a personal tech device, something that you can carry with you or use at home for personal use. The PlayStation, Xbox, uh, headphones, your phone, these are all gadgets, tech devices. When we talk about headphones, it's a set because technically there's one side and the other side. So a set really means a couple. This is the series two of this headphone, which is the new model. When we talk about tech stuff, the model is the series or edition. So when the new iPhone comes out next year, that will be the new model. If a tech device has something dedicated, it means it serves a specific purpose to do one thing. So the old, the Series 1 did not have a dedicated button for this feature. So on a tech device, if something is dedicated, it is to do a specific thing. A carrying case is what you carry your stuff in. So many tech devices have special carrying cases, just little pouches or sleeves to help protect your device when you are not at home. Also, I guess when you're storing it, when it's not in use. A headphone jack, this right here is the headphone jack. And Apple has started to remove those. And here, these headphones are Bluetooth. That means they connect wirelessly. So they don't even need the cord and they don't need to be plugged in into the jack. Connectivity means that something can be connected. These headphones have Bluetooth connectivity. It means they can connect to something. And in this case, they connect through Bluetooth. I'm sure your phone also has Wi-Fi connectivity and probably a few other types of connectivity. If something is steep in price, it means it is very expensive. That's a steep price, an expensive price. Now about describing things, you'll notice here that when we describe things, we always use it. Here, headphones are plural, so we use they. However, we never use he or she when talking about objects, only for people and animals. So the author is saying they are. Okay, let's look at another gadget. RAV Power File Hub Plus and Wireless Travel Router. I recommend carrying your own wireless travel router wherever you go. This one lets you pull in the hotel internet, either corded or wireless, and create your own Wi-Fi hotspot. It also lets you skirt any rules on how many gadgets a hotel lets you connect to the internet at once. This model includes an SD card reader for streaming stored movies and TV shows to your smartphone or tablet, as well as a 6,000 milliamps battery that'll charge up most phones one or two times. All right, so we have a wireless travel router. The router is where your Wi-Fi signal comes from. To pull something in when we talk about getting a signal or service means just to get, to receive. So he says you can pull in the internet Wi-Fi. It would be more common, more typical to say to get or 
or to connect to the Wi-Fi instead of pull in. You can also say pull in as in to get someone's attention or to be drawn to something. It pulled me in. I was very drawn to it. To skirt something, especially rules and regulations, means to avoid, to bypass, to not have to obey. So if you skirt a law, it means you avoid or bypass it. You circumvent. That could be legal or illegal to skirt something. You can skirt someone's anger. It means you avoid their anger. It's a nice word, slightly more formal, but I definitely recommend you learn it. Because otherwise, we are not talking about this, a woman's skirt that she wears. This is an SD card. To stream something is not to download, it's what you do on YouTube. You're not actually downloading the content. You're basically transmitting and receiving the data without downloading the entire file to your computer. And to buffer is when you are loading for these streaming services. That's what Spotify is. Spotify is streaming online music. So what I want you to do to start describing things more naturally is to give me a description of your favorite gadget in the comments. Tell me what it is, what it does, and some of its unique features. What it does that other devices can't do or don't do as well. Give me your descriptions in the comments and I will give you some corrections ASAP. If you have any other questions, comments, or suggestions, definitely throw all those down in the comments too. It was great talking to you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.